Thank you. This was called your friendly neighborhood hall. And who was handling the vocals? Was that Donald? And no, uh, this was now Mark. So actually, uh, most, much more pieces from the early period are on this collection, of, uh, on this rewriting. And uh, now we will come more to the era with, without all, with, without anything, uh, or the light like how blows in between uh, when Malcolm had left. But don't, that will not yet arrive. So that last song um, was a great uh, example of uh, less the cut-up process than more of a trance and a rhythmic and funk kind of process. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how that came into uh, the band's being? Well, I know it just... Uh... <laughs> just happened. Well, actually, uh, when we started and tried to bring all these different styles, like Jackie being a jazz drummer, and uh, Micha, uh, who was 10 years younger than Jackie, uh, and me, being a real beat, as one said at the time, beat guitar, guitarist, the young one, without any musical background background, except that. And uh, Holgan may be classical composer, musicians, bringing all this together, we in the beginning didn't know what will happen. So, but nevertheless, uh, Jackie wanted to play groups, so we started and in the beginning. And then all of a sudden when uh, Malcolm arrived, who actually was not a singer, but an artist whom we, together me, brought to Cologne because we wanted to present him to uh, my uh, gallery friends uh, to give him a chance to express his, his art in Cologne. But then he came to the studio uh, because I was every day there, I was there. So I took him to the studio and uh, he just joined immediately. And Jackie and him formed such a strong rhythm group immediately that, well, this was then everybody just joined in. Yeah. So that had uh, this kind of strong rhythm aspect of this. This afternoon, when we were talking, you referred to Cam as body music. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, after having heard all this, I don't even have to say that. I mean, we were talking about uh, actually the two main aspects about uh, this 20th and 21st century uh, music, which was born in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s. There was this one aspect of technology, which of course also was in Stockhausen. But uh, there was the other one, which was a very immediate, spontaneous expression of your phys physical expression. And actually, that's one of the, for me, the most important aspects about German music is that we, two groups in Germany represent uh, really very consequently these two aspects because Kraftwerk, which I highly estimate, uh, concentrated on this on this aspect of technology and of this sort of performing as a half machine, half a human, and we on this really body of this yeah, physical prime expression, and uh, that was very important for for us and both our singers, but everybody in our group. I mean, uh, these groups, uh, these grooves we play are just the physical need we had to express ourselves. And we never could have done that little with machines. Hence John Lydon like you so much. Um, hence John Lydon like you so much. 
I'm right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes the American accent, accent uh, is <laughs> Well, I'm neither English nor American, so my pronunciation is a, a, a weird mixture of both. And, of course, German accent. Um, yes, I mean, there were several people who wanted to join. Johnny Leiden really, uh, I mean, he sometimes a certain point that we already uh, were about finishing, stopping the whole thing. Uh, he found me sometimes in the middle of the night at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, I must be your singer. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably was right, he should have said that about uh, five years earlier. <laughs> what are we going to hear next? Yes. So the next one is again um, be a sweet sort of piece from a film music we did much much later in uh, I think seventy four. So this was all uh, with the Malcolm in the in the sixties and late sixties. Now we jump to seventy four. 